Dr. Joe, uh, I'm fascinated uh, by some of the things we've been talking about. But uh, there's another great verse, one of the, the mighty verses, I think, of the Scripture, uh, in Psalm 110 and verse 1. Oh, yes, And yes. Uh, uh, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, as you know, this is the most quoted verse, or alluded to, in the New Testament, mm. from the Old Testament, Psalm 1101. Uh, we probably should read it, but we have to be careful reading it because you have two lords in there. One lord is capitalized. The Lord capitalized. The Lord capitalized said to my Lord. Okay, and when you're saying capitalized, capitalized, you mean all caps. With all caps. L O R and D. Yeah. Sometimes they, I notice the O R and D may be little caps, but they're still capitals, aren't they? That's and, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But that's the substitution. Mm. In the original Hebrew ah, yes. of Psalm 110, it's the Tetragrammaton. Yahweh says to Adonai. Gotcha. So on this first word that you, in your English version, you may find showing as uh, Lord, all capitals. Mm -hmm. In the original Hebrew, that's it the, is... That's the substitution. Yes. The substitution for Yahweh by the Jews and others, right. but Yahweh is in the original text. The original Hebrew, then, is this is Yahweh. That's right. Speaking to somebody. Yahweh is talking to someone else. All right. And, of course, the word uh, Lord in, in Hebrew, Adonai, Adonai, but Sarah called Abraham my Lord. Ah, it's the second kind of Lord. The, the, not yeah, the, not, not, the, the, not the capital L-O-R-D, not the one referring to the Lord God, right. but the Adonai, you know, someone of an earthly domain, if you will. Uh, and I ran across this several times. Remember when David did the counting in the Old Testament and, and God says, you shouldn't have done that. And Joab says, why did my Lord do this? Ah, yes, yes. So, even in English, it's confusing because you have two lords, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, and L-O-R-D, Lord. Yahweh El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, is talking to a, a very important person, the Adonai. Right. The the Lord the Lord Messiah I think, and so what does he say? Let's go over the end. So Yahweh says to this master, this individual, the Lord God said to the Lord of the earth, the Melech Haolam, if you will, the the King of the earth, sit at my right hand. Ah yes. So here is Yahweh here, and here is this individual again. Mm. And it's so beautiful and so clear. Right. But why not go back, as my Columbia, um, uh, Walter Brueggemann, expert in biblical Hebrew, and my Columbia teachers would say, go back to the, to the original text. Mm. Go back to the original basis of where it all began. And in this verse, Psalm 110.1, the original basis is Yahweh. The Lord God Almighty, the Lord God of the Shema, Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu Yahweh. Yahweh says to this individual. So, uh, Brother uh, Joe, then it looks to me like when you first look at Psalm 110 and 1 in your, some of your English, English Bible, English, English Bible yeah. you're going to see two lords there, it would seem. Yeah. That's not really accurate, and there's no question about that. There's only one Lord, as we would normally think of that word, in Psalm 110 and 1. It's the second use, mm -hmm. uh, where it uh, uh, said to the Lord. That's that second one. The, the first word, Lord, is the all capitals. That's right. And it is a reference actually to the name of God. That's right. Yahweh, you, you say. And so we got Yahweh speaks to someone who is uh, Adonai, and uh, the first is God Almighty, the only one who is God. That's right. The second one is Lord, made Lord by God. That's right. Who uh, I think that would seem referenced in the words, sit at my right hand. That's God right. God tells him where to sit, but, it, you know, he's got this. Yeah. And so... Actually, the first is the Father, the only one who is God, That's right. Jesus said. Yeah. Yeah. And the second turns out to be the Christ, Jesus. Mm -hmm. He is not that one God. He is yeah. not Yahweh. He is the Messiah, the Christ, the, the human Son of God.
is that? That that is beautiful, Dan. You you said it. And in fact, when when Peter, and and I'll just read out of uh, Peter's sermon out of Acts two. I'm in Acts two. 22. Men of Israel, listen to the words of Jesus of Nazareth. A man attested to you by God. Wow. You know, this is these are Peter's words. With miracles and wonders and signs which God performed through him. Now there's no doubt that the miracles Jesus did were by the Father. Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. nothing. Yes. So God was performing miracles by bestowing on Jesus the Holy Spirit and the power to do that. But look at this in verse 24. But God, you killed him, but God raised him. And so, so this is beautiful. And then he keeps going, and this is Acts 2, 32 and 30, 33. This Jesus God raised up again, in which we are all witnesses. Therefore, having been exalted to the right hand of oh, God. Yes, yes, yes. Psalm 110, 1. Yes. Having been exalted to the right hand of God having received from the Father the promised Holy Spirit, He now pours it out. Yes. For it was not David who ascended in heaven, but David said, The Lord said to my Lord, sit wow. at my right hand. I love it. There's no confusion here. Right. The Lord God is exalting the Lord Jesus, wonderful. the Messiah. That's this is right. wonderful. So now Jesus and God are perfectly understood, but only one of them is God. That's right. And only one of them is the Messiah, the That's Christ. Right. Another verse that clarifies this is, of course, 1 Corinthians 15. There's another Greek word, hypo. Hypo is a, is a simple Greek prefix mm. that means under. Mm. This is in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 23. But each in his own order... Talk about resurrection, Christ the first fruits, and then those that are Christ that is coming. Then comes the end when Jesus hands the kingdom over to God the Father. Um, and in verse 27, so God has put all things in subjection under him. Okay, but listen to this. Verse 28, but when all things are subjected to him, then the Son will also be subjected to the one who has subjected all things over, over him, so that God may be all in all. So Jesus is hypo the Father. Jesus is under, under the Father. The Father. Well, now Jesus is master of all. He's King of kings and Lord of lords, you know, ruler in heaven and earth. But He's under the Father's dominion. Right. He is hypo. He's under That's the right. Father. I love hypo. it. And not only during his time on this earth, when he after he, when he was born and, and while he lived here on the earth, but even now in heaven, he's still under his Father. Yeah. Uh, he sits at the Father's right hand. That's right. He, Jesus does not sit on the on the on the main on throne. The prim, primary throne. And as you're seeing here in First Corinthians 15, for all eternity, for all eternity, he will be That's hypo. Right. He That's will right. be under the Father. That's right. One of us sits at the right mm. hand of God. We're brothers. It is Christ. wonderful, isn't it? It's beautiful. That means so much to me. Mm. Wonderful. And stuff. even in the book of Revelation, it talks about the throne of God and of the Lamb. And of the the Lamb. Lamb is right there with the Father yes. throughout eternity. Wonderful. And, and, the, and the light of God and of the Lamb mm. is there. Mm. So Revelation 1, 4, and 5 makes that clear distinction as well. Verse 4. Uh, from him who is and was and who is to come, in verse five, and and from Jesus Christ. In addition to in that, addition to we have in addition to the one God we have we have Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And look at Jesus' uh, description: the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth. Wow, it is so clear, and and so Psalm one ten one just keeps breaking down to a clear distinction between the Lord God Yahweh, Yahweh says to my Adonai, my Lord, mm -hmm. sit at my right hand. And then Yahweh exalts him to his right hand. Yes. You know, and 21 times that phrase, right hand of God, is used for Jesus. Wow, wow. That Psalm 1 just keeps coming into wow. that. Uh, such a beautiful, clear picture of the Father wow. and Jesus, his Son. Great. That's wonderful, God Dr. Bless. Joe. I wish everybody clearly would think on and understand Psalm 110 and 1. Amen. All the confusion would go away. Amen. It God's would. not multiple persons. He's That's not two right. or three different ones. God is that one. It's very he simple. He is Yahweh. That's it. And then Jesus, he's not God. He is 
that one whom God has made Lord. That's right. He is mm. one of us that God has exalted. It's beautiful. I love Amen. it. Well, thanks, Dr. Joe. God Appreciate bless. Appreciate it so much. Likewise, <laughs> very much so.